Hello there, and welcome to this introduction of the C Sharp Intermediate Tutorial Project for the Stride Game Engine. In this brief introduction, we'll learn how to set up the C Sharp Intermediate Tutorials project from the launcher, and we'll quickly cover the layout of this project. This project has been added with Stride Game Studio 4.1. So if you are using an older Stride version, it is possible that you're not seeing this c -sharp Intermediate Tutorial project. Once you've started the launcher and selected a new project, you get the project selection screen as seen here on my screen. We simply go to the Tutorials tab around halfway across the page, and then we select the c -sharp Intermediate project. We give it a fancy name, and we select it for a new project. For this tutorial series, we'll be using Windows as our base operating system. Since this is the first time the project has loaded, it first needs to build the image cache. But once that is completed, we can start by building the game by clicking on the Build icon, or by simply clicking on the Build the Project and Start the Game by pressing F5 or clicking the green button. Different from the C Sharp Beginners project is that each tutorial in the scene can now be selected on a start mode and a completed mode. That means that, for instance, for the first tutorial UI interaction, you can follow along with the start scene called UI Interaction Start, which, if we click on it, will load a new scene with the start tutorial, and this scene only contains the base assets in this particular level. However, nothing can be seen here, as this is the starting point for this tutorial. If you want to see the completed tutorial, simply click on the Menu button, and in the Completed column, click on UI Interaction again, and this time you will see what the end result of this particular tutorial is. If we go to our Project Overview, and we go to our bottom left to the Solution Explorer, you can see that this Scenes project contains the tutorials of the entire C Sharp Intermediate Tutorials project. Again, if we select the first tutorial, the UI Basics, notice how we have a completed UI Basics and a start UI Basics. If you want to follow along with every tutorial, then it's recommended that you open up the Start scene for each tutorial. That is what we will be using for each video tutorial. And that concludes this brief introduction to the C Sharp Intermediate Tutorial Project. Let's hop on over to the first tutorial, UI Basics.